Hello and welcome to this tutorial in how to make a hat using binning. While making this hat we are going to use the Oslo stitch. So if you don't know the Oslo stitch I suggest you go back to my tutorial and learn how to do it. I will put a link in the description and up in the corner. So for this hat you will need a null binding needle or just a big needle, some water and some yarn. You'll probably need two of these. I'm using the Easy Garn from Sunless Garn and the weight is about 50 grams equals 51 meters. It's 100% wool and easy to felt. I'm going to teach you how to make a round hat and for that we need the round start. We need a piece of yarn, maybe a meter long and we need to rip it. Now we don't need the yarn for a while but we're going to focus on this piece. First you want to thread your needle like so and then we focus on the other end of the thread. So you want to take the other end and put it in the palm of your hand and then around your two first fingers and hold it with your thumb. I'll show you again. Take the opposite end of the thread to the needle, put it in the palm of your hand around your two first fingers and hold it with your thumb. Now you want to take this thread that's connected to the needle and put it over your thumb. Now we pick up the needle and put it under this loop on your index finger and then under the loop that's already on your thumb like this. Be sure when it comes to be a loop that you keep the loop on the thumb and then tighten. If this loop around your two fingers have been become loose then pull the end to make it tighter just so you feel secure. Now you want to do this again. So underneath the thread that's on your index finger and then twist it and under the thread that's on your thumb. Now this loop comes off the thumb and it's the loop you use for the next stitch. So this loop under and then under what's on the thumb. And make sure again to make a loop on your thumb below the previous loop. And you can tighten this one again. That was our first proper stitch. Now we want to make 14 more. So now we make our next stitch. Pull this off your thumb and then pick it up, go under this start loop and then under what's on your thumb. That's two. <laughs> and we need to do it 13 more times. So this loop underneath and then under what's on your thumb. And be sure to make sure that it tightens below the previous one. And the next. And the next. Now we can see there's something here, but we just keep on binding. So this loop underneath the start loop and then underneath what's on your thumb. This is the last stitch we need. Now your work should look like this. Now you want to hold it and then tighten the start loop. And tighten it all the way so you just get a circle. So you want to end up with something a bit like this. Now you want to put your work back on your thumb and continue binding uh, on this previous row. So you want to pick up one loop from the old row and then the loop behind your thumb 
and then twist the whole thing and push it under by your thumb. This row you want to add one stitch for each of the old stitches. So we want to make another with the same loop that we just used and then the loop behind our thumb and under. A new loop from the previous row through the loop behind your thumb and then under. Now our working thread is quite short so we need to attach a new thread. I'm sure you all remember how to do this but this is how. You make both ends fluffy then you twist them together like so. Add some water and felt. And be sure to felt above and below the join so that it's smooth. You end up with something like looks like this, just one thread, and you can continue. So re-thread the needle and we're all set. So you just continue. The previous loop we used, we've only used once, so we need to use it again. Pick up the loop and go under. Make sure that the start loop doesn't get confused into your work. So again, you want to make one stitch in a new loop. and a second one. And you want to do this all the way around. Always make sure that you keep your starting thread out of the business. Now I'm almost around this round and you can see it because um, this is all long but here it, there's a gap. So this is the last mm -hmm. stitch in the round. And we're going to put two stitches in this one loop. Again making sure that the start thread isn't bothering you. One and two. So now you've made this circle. Sometimes it doesn't quite lie flat and it's a bit like wobbly and that's nothing to worry about and it won't affect the shape of the hat. This next round we want to increase with one stitch for every second stitch. So that means we put two stitches in this one and then one stitch in this one and two and one and two and one. So one stitch in this loop and a second one in this loop. Then we put one stitch in the next one. And two stitches in the one after that. As you can see, I vary between pulling the loop off my thumb before I start the stitch and pulling the loop off my thumb while I'm doing the stitch with my needle. It's really up to you and what you feel comfortable doing. And I switch because sometimes it feels more natural to put it off first and sometimes it feels more natural to pick it up with my needle. So now you have a fair beginning of a hat. Just continue increasing every second stitch around this round and on the next round after this you need to increase every third time and after that round you increase however many you see fit. Just remember to always increase at a regular interval, if not the hat will not be round. I'll be back with more tutorials on this hat and I'll see you next time. Howdy!